Hello, this is Paul Check, and I'd like to invite you to join me for my next webinar, the Love Series, Love as the Basis for Self-Healing. This webinar will run Monday, September the 28th, 2010, at 12 o'clock Pacific Daylight Time. Continuing the 1, 2, 3, 4 webinar series, I will share an in-depth understanding of love, what love really is. I have identified through my own spiritual investigations that love is not a word, it's actually a code. And when we understand the code, we understand how the entire universe is not only formed, but how it functions. And since we're part of the universe, it probably would really be exciting to know what made us and what drives us to behave, do, and experience the things that we do. In this four-part series, you will learn the integral stages of learning to love self and other the stages that all human beings grow into en route to becoming truly human, whole, and capable of living from the heart. In part one, Unconditional Love, you will learn an overview of how my 1234 model works. We will learn what unconditional love really is and how it manifests in your life. We will learn how an understanding of unconditional love breaks the shackles of religious and social dogma freeing you to love authentically and naturally. Now, many people in the past have got the impression that I'm against religion. I'm not against religion at all. Religion comes from the word religio, which means reunion, which means the same thing as yoga. I have nothing against religion, but I am concerned about religious dogma or programming that stops people from truly learning to live and love from their heart. My series will continue with part two, Sex and Violence Loving, where I show the essential nature of sex and violence loving and how essential it is to the development of the mind and therefore the soul. We will continue with part three, Conditional Loving, where I show how important it is once you recognize that you're in the sex and violence stage of loving to create conditions that are more appropriate for your relationships with persons places, and things. Those relationships with persons, places, and things, if not managed, often become the source of tremendous stress in our life and or addictions. Finally, in part four, we will look at empathy and compassion as a form of loving. In my opinion, when we become empathetic and compassionate lovers, we truly reach our potential as human beings, as lovers, capable of loving ourselves, nature, and the universe, the world at large. So feel free to join me for my love series, again, part one, Monday, September 28th, 2010, 12 o'clock Pacific Daylight Time. You can register for part one, Unconditional Love, at www.ppssuccess.com. For those of you that might be interested in a little more comprehensive overview of what I'll be presenting as my love model, you're welcome to visit my YouTube channel, Paul Check Live, and look at my series titled Ten Commandments or Spirituality You Choose. In each of those ten clips, I give it a brief overview of the love model. So feel free to have a look, and you'll get a snapshot of what I'll go into in much greater depth in this webinar series. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to sharing with you on our webinars. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.